Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing... You already know. The title says it, but I'll repeat it anyway. We're gonna be doing a draft, and this time we're gonna find out if offense is in fact the best defense. Although, this does not necessarily prove or disprove that theory, so quick disclaimer there. However, we will have to take all 12 forwards before we take six defensemen, before we take two goalies. So it's going the entire way front to back, and let's find out what team we get. It is Smashville. I feel like we get them a lot. This time we won't have to worry about Mitch Marner being a defenseman because I'm filming this after the previous draft, obviously, where we did goaltenders first, defense, and then forwards. And that time I kind of had to redo it, which also sucks because I could have had John Carlson and then I ended up not getting him the second time around. But that's on me. Time to change all these settings again, AKA turn the jabroni setting off. Fog of war, no thank you. Player morale, no. I used to leave that on and then people in the comments said something about it. I can't remember what it was. I usually leave it on and turn on or turn off the meetings though. So that way the player morale is just strictly based on how the team is doing, how the individual player is doing, but I don't know. We'll leave it off. So fantasy draft on, salary cap on, CPU trades on. We're going to get pick number... Do I want a good pick here? We're getting forwards first, so I would like a decent pick, but I don't know. I Maybe top 10 is what I'm hoping for. Let's go with number nine, and let's see just how wrong I am. I did turn fantasy draft on, right? Okay, four. We take that. It is the M trio going in the first three McDavid, McCarr, Matthews. I might have to keep that trend going and take Nate Mack. But Leon. Oh, he's making 6.3 though. How can you say no to that? I genuinely don't know who to take. Simply so that I'm not the one to break the M streak. And on top of that, he's also making 2 million less. I'm going to go with Nate. Might as well sort by forwards because we have to take forwards. I might bring him back. I think I'm going to go with Philip Forsberg. 89 overall, 8.5 quite a bit but you know second pick of the draft we can make it work i think i really want to take kairu but i also want the entirety of our first line to have x factors and on top of that right now we have a playmaker and a two-way forward so we should probably grab a sniper five star shooting category for terra sank show I have to do it. I have to. I will be taking Chandler as our second line centerman. He only has 78 face-offs, which is very unfortunate. I'm going line chemistry heavy, and X-Factor's abilities certainly help with that. So I'll be taking Pavelski as our second line right winger, or maybe center, because I think both of them have a bit of center in them. They're, you know, <laughs> this is a split position thing now. I don't think either of them play left wing. But I'm taking Tim Winston anyways. Our salary cap is taking a big beating, but at a good cause. Zuccarello will be our next selection, who coincidentally was also in the back to front draft. If you're wondering why I took Zook, he had two abilities. And if Pavelski's going to be on the second line, then that's going to help the line chemistry. Does that help the sim? Don't know. Good old Boone Jenner. 83 face-offs. Two-way forward. I think he would be good on the PK. He's got four-star defense. All right. I see you. 3.7 as well. Another two-way forward. He's got three and a half star defense. Making 2.5, which is very, very affordable at 84 overall. So, Dominic Kubalik will also be joining the squadron. This right here is not a good sign for us. Because we still have to take six defensemen before we even get our starting goalie. And we're already down to 84 overall. You know why we didn't do well in the last video? It's because I wasn't playing the NHL heaters playlist. I'm pretty sure I had nothing on. Which, I don't know why I even had... The headset, it's pretty much just a staple now. Like, I look weird with it off. I can't not use it now. All right, Heroes by David Bowie just came on. NHL 99 intro classic. 364 more days till hockey tryouts. We got to toughen up a little bit. Sorting by physicality here. Nick Delorier, 78 overall. He did well for us in the last one. So I'm going to trust him again. Jordan Greenway, 3 million, 82 overall. He's power forward. Four and a half star physicality. He's left wing slash right wing. We'll make it work. It looks like we are going to have a decent amount of cap left, but we still need six defensemen and both goalies. So I don't know how this is going to go. 79 overall, making 1.4. Seems to be the best player here in regards to salary to overall ratio. All right, Keegan, you are going to be on... An absolute stellar fourth line. I think we have to take Martinez. The contract is a little extreme, but we need defensemen. We just do. So I'm going to go ahead 
and grab him while we still can. Shattenkirk is a right-handed defenseman, so he could play, but so is Savard. This just got tricky. Offensive defenseman versus a defensive defenseman. I could probably get both now that I'm really thinking about it. So let's start off with Shaddy. Nick Jensen, 2.5 and 82 overall. That seems like a steal to me. I don't know why he hasn't gone yet, but he's going right now. Connor Clifton, another right-handed defenseman, but he's 81 overall at 1 million flat. Yeah, because we have the salary cap, I'm going to take Suter. And then for our last defenseman, I'm sorting by physicality again, so I will not be taking good Branson at $4 million, although I probably could. Ben Chirot making 4.7, and he is a left defenseman, so he would actually work. I think I am going to do it, just because he's 81 overall, good Branson's only 78. Another 750k, but we'll still have quite a bit of cap to get goalies. I don't think they're going to be making a whole lot at this stage anyway. So we should be golden. Craig, the man, the myth, the legend. I do want to take him. I also sort of want Jonathan Quick. I feel like we have to. Look at that cap space and tell me it is not perfect. Craig Anderson. We definitely do not have the most youthful goaltender tandem in the NHL, but they will be sick. I'll tell you that. That's today's tidbit of free news. We should have a plus five on the first line. I'm thinking we're going to have a plus two or plus three on the second line. Maybe I'm wrong though. Let's find out. Moment of truth. How? How is that possible? To me, it's weird that Forsberg is right-handed and plays left wing, and then Tarasenko is the exact opposite. But, you know, play on your off wing for one-timers, I suppose. Um, who are you, sir? No way they get a plus one. That is phenomenal. Keegan actually does have the best face-offs out of the three, so I will be playing him in the middle. Should I? No, you know what? I'm just gonna run best lines because... The game will spite me if I do not, and we will do horrible. I'm also pleasantly surprised by our defense chemistry. Plus one, zero, and then plus one. And that we have quick backed up by Craig Anderson. 83 and 82 isn't terrible, so I think we're going to be good. My prediction is 45 wins. Nate Mack leads the team with how many points? How many points you reckon? I'm going to say 87. Ooh, let's get ready to simulate. Oh, yeah? Cheeky little 5-1-0 and start. Might as well make it six. So it is extremely early, but I am here to confirm that offense is in fact the best defense. I would like to withdraw my statement as we just went on a four game losing streak. If you're gonna lose, at least lose in overtime. Get a point out of it. The lads are first in the division at the moment, but seems to be a weak division because when we go to the other ones, yeah, the Bruins have 70 points. Hey, I'll take a weak division with open arms. 100%. If that's how we get in the playoffs, I don't care. All that matters is that we do get in. Ryan O'Reilly is available at this year's trade deadline. So with Bo Horvat, Patches, Burt, and Bennington. We saw him get drafted. Merzlikens as well. They're both on the block. <laughs> wow. Clearly that didn't work out. Here's a trade for you. Bo Horvat, Nate Schmidt, and Kyle Palmieri for Jack Quinn and two other prospects. So after the trade deadline, we are third in our division, but only two points separate us from the first place Colorado Avalanche. And on top of that, the Jets, who are only one point ahead of us in second, have two games on us, which is good. Okay, I see you with that six game winning streak followed by how many losses are we gonna take? Not many. Good stuff. Here we go, Smashville. We need to make the playoffs. I can't have both of these drafts not make it. Okay, we've already clinched, so we're in. We are in the lofts. Yeah, I mean, we have almost 50 wins. 100% we're in the lofts. I don't even care that we lost that last game. Okay, I can't lie, I'm a little upset. We ended up finishing third in the division, just shy of 100 points. We had 99 to end the year and let's find out where we finished in the league just like the last draft the mighty ducks of anaheim take home the president's trophy and with 99 points we are on the front page here eighth in the nhl we take that all day and it was the top 16 teams that qualified let's find out who anaheim drafted though what kind of super team do you got here oh yeah of course of course they took Leon. Tricidal playing with Ehlers and Goudreau. Then they have Kuznetsov, Riley Smith, and then Kane, Ocpozo, Rodriguez, and Confer. Flower in the net. Okay, something's got to change on that first line. Joe Pavelski led our team with 78 points. Nate Mack, phenomenal number of points, but you should be doing better than that. So that is unacceptable. Zuccarello had 67. Chandler had 55. What are you guys doing? You absolute clowns. You know what? I'm disappointed and angry. That is something you should not be doing. With all that firepower on that first line? No. 
Jonathan Quick actually did pretty solid. A 919 and 253. A record of 41, 23, and 5. Four shutouts on the year as well. Didn't go so well for Craig this time around, but he still had the 900. So, by TJ standards, seal of approval. Our top four defensemen were all separated by two points. 26 for Martinez and Shaddy, and then Suter and Jensen. 25-24, respectively. Vitek Vin, wow, I've never seen this many goalies tied here before. And Quick is right there. I mean, he played a lot more games than Vitek, but we won't look at that. And also Vitek had a 925. Outrageous. But a four-way tie for most wins in the league. John Carlson rubbing it in again from the previous draft. 75 points, leads the league. Hughes with 67, Dowdy had 63. Ekblad and Girard, 62 apiece. And nobody broke 100 this year. Matthews had 94 points to get himself in Art Ross. 47 goals, 47 assists. Jack Eichel had 92. And then we got a trio of 91s. Who won the Rocket Richard? It is Matthews with 47. Abramov had the highest shooting percentage with 25. He had two goals. Love that for you. On eight shots, Nico Heischer won the most draws. 1,500. That's a lot, you know. Marcus Foligno led for fights with 12. Delorier had 11, so these two probably went at it once or twice. We also have Keegan here, who had three. So we got two lads in the top, what is that, six, seven? So before we start the playoffs, I am changing our lines because I'm not having it. No. Pavelski can come up here. We'll give them the plus two. And maybe I'm going to bring up Chandler, play him there. Tarasenko can be over here. Tom Wilson can play third line. That seems fair to me. So naturally, we're going to get swept because I had the balls to mess with the lines. And the game is going to be fuming. We do not have a sniper on the first line anymore. But that's all right. I think they could still bury the biscuit. Defensively, I'm okay with how everything went there. Goalies, Jonathan Quick, of course, is going to be the starter. He had a pretty solid season. All right. Let's do this thing. The Winnipeg Jets are our first round opponent. Let's see how it goes here. Sim, three games. Great start. Loving that. Oh, yeah? Hello? Will we sweep the Jets? We do not. They come out with a big 2-1 win to e extend, keep the series going. I went to say both things at the same time, and it just did not work. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna lose this. You know how... Fire me up? But you know how heartbreaking that would be? You're down by three. You fight all the way back to make it 3-3. You're on the brink of a reverse sweep. And then you lose. <laughs> after all that, 1-0 after one period of play. The shots are slightly in favor of the Jets, but nothing major. Power play and extended power. Oh no, it's going very slow. I pressed triangle by accident. Whoops. That explains everything. Jack Eichel scores a power play goal to tie this thing up halfway through the game, but we get it right back with a power play goal. All right, cop, I see you. Guy didn't even let me be excited for half a second instantly just scores we are being outshot but jonathan is giving us a real chance here five minutes to go it is a tie hockey game it's do or die for the smashville predators and the winnipeg jets we're headed to golden goal to find out if we move on or if we are out 25 to 36 that is not good but we are still in this thing a power play and we don't capitalize the jets kill it off don't tell me we're going to 2 ot say it ain't so I think we are. This is a contest if I've ever seen one. Three games in a row, followed by three games in a row, and then a double OT winner from Dominic Kubalik, and we're moving on to round number two. An extremely deserved first star from Mr. Quick. We got Chicago next here. I will simulate the first three. You know what? It's not going to be a sweep either way. Going first four. Let's see what happens here. Well, I was wrong, but for the first time ever... I was wrong in a good way. Here's your draft class. We have Connor Bedard, Vitaly Tulipov. That is a fire name. Yuri Andronov, Kasparitis, Leo Carlson listed as a gem. How can you be a gem at fifth? You know, I guess, I guess. I love how I didn't even put my thoughts out there. I just said, I guess. But, you know, the way I said it sort of infers how it's going. Like, I guess. And then I realized, like, yeah, I guess it could be possible. That was a whole lot of guessing. But... I'm going to spit a fact for you. We're sweeping the Mighty Ducks as well. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of close. I had the sweep part right. All right. Well, they also went on to sweep in the Stanley Cup Finals, I believe. Unless 
Was that? No, I don't know. Either way, they won the cup. Clearly, we should have done this all year because Nate Mack had 20 points in 15 playoff games. We got 18 from Forsberg, 14 from Pavelski. Martinez put up 12. Didn't see that coming. Tara Sancho at 11. Kubalik, 10. Chandler and let's go. Jonathan Quick, a 9-15, 2-57. Can't say that he didn't play his role. He did very well. Just having a quick look at Anaheim here. So Flower, a 9-24. 227 defenseman tony had 13 anderson seven so they only really had one point producing defenseman they didn't even get a lot of points try it was point a game kane had 20 and 21 goudreau 19 same with Kuzi. just had a good team all around i guess obviously flurry led for wins samsonov had 13 and 897 though so not a great showing from him bennington a 921 after being did they draft him or was he traded at the deadline? I feel like he was on Vancouver the entire time. He was not. He did get traded, it looks like. From the Anaheim Ducks to Vancouver. All right, so I guess they're pretty happy with that trade. Oh, sure, just rub it in again. 26 points in 22 playoff games for John Carlson. Of course he does. Drew Doughty had 15, and then Tony D with 13. If we go to forwards now, we can see Matthews absolutely sent it. 32 points in 22 playoff games. 26 from Line A, who I can imagine was his line mate. The 2016 first and second pick, by the way. Well, let's look at all the awards that we did not win. There you go. Anaheim cleaned up individual trophies let's see if there's a lot of anaheim here as well so far it's basically just detroit and anaheim cole gets the calder evander kane gets the con Smythe. wow vanacek with the vesna and the jennings earned it carlo gets the master tin mcclellan with the jack adams sydney the kidney gets the selkie dry sidle with the Lindsay. and as we saw the richard is going to austin they did not sweep the finals but they still won in convincing fashion. It was 4-1. Well, there you go. I feel like the other one could have been a different story if I got John Carlson, but we'll never know. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, click that like button. It's free, believe it or not. On that note, see you soon.